Hello guys and welcome back to Tyranny. It's uh, admittingly been a little while since I uh, recorded last, but I uh, did my best to read up and catch up. Uh, and one of the things I noticed, which I'm not sure I did actually last time I recorded, is that I got a talent point. So I was kind of reading through what some of these are. A lot of them seem to do with uh, using the thrust ability. Uh, adding different modifiers to it, like blinding the enemy or, you know, like increasing. Yeah, like this one is, it increases your uh, magic skills, which uh, seems pretty good. But I think ideally we just don't want to, you know, get into any sort of, you know, uh, melee range or anything like that. And besides, we have a staff. I think we'd rather throw spells, right? That's kind of the always the goal. Uh, so I think we just want Magical Prodigy. Uh, just passive plus 10 lore because our lore is everything. So I think that is just a, uh, you know, has to go that way. <laughs> uh, an additional spell slot. I'm sure that's also going to be useful. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of good stuff there. Um, the only other thing I was kind of looking at with some of these was... Um, some of the leadership ones, like getting additional uh, weapon sets, uh, switching in combat, uh, you know, with less of a recovery penalty. Uh, and then, for example, this one gives you the two additional quick item slots and consumables are more effective in combat. So that also seems very good uh, in the long term. So I'll probably end up picking up that too. That also actually seems really cool. Refuse pain. Again, a lot of modifiers on uh, on the thrust ability. I do like how it's just like yeah, right click for details on like the specifics. I, I do think that's very very good. Uh, I assume that this also means that this is like a requirement. Uh, but you need to have athletics 40. So good to know. Uh, but for now, I think we have places to be. Uh, so yeah. We're at the disfavored camp now. We need to... So it'll take nine hours. So, so I was thinking, because this seems to be like the main thing we were supposed to go. Uh, Figure this is more of a side side quest, and the judgment day is in eight days, so I think it's okay to go here first. Yes, let's do it. Hmm, some Vendurian guard. Okay. Let's see what happens. That's far enough, Fatebinder. A woman's voice booms from atop a nearby outcropping. Flashes of aquamarine body paint. Blue body pigment. Uh -huh. Traditional trappings of School of Tides. Peek out from under her loose-fitting traveler's garb, and her outfit is festooned in... Festooned, that's a funny word. Her outfit is festooned in braids and knots of sailor's line. Flanked on either side by warriors dressed in Vendrian's guard regalia, the woman leans on an elaborate bladed staff pulsing with arcane energy. Swathed of blue fabric, dress rests draped over her arm. Blue flag is... Symbol of diplomacy and truce recognized across most of the known world and is custom to the Tearsman Hold Deer. Armor not a person under the auspice of blue flag is grave offense. Okay, good to know. In accordance with ancient customs north and south, I offer and request a delay of blade. There are matters we must discuss without fear of reprisal. Mm. 
Ok. As is our custom, we are ready to kill to defend our lands, but we kill only in fair battle. We don't slay our prisoners. We know this isn't Kairos' way, but we must have hope. A few of my kin have gone missing, and though they may have perished, I have to inquire on the off chance they still live. If Captain Tarkas Deimos still lives, we would negotiate for his release. Well, that's not quite uh, gonna be possible. <laughs> not quite. Uh, we let him go. No, no. He's dead. I see. That is as I feared. But thank you for telling me all the same. I prefer closure to wishful thinking. If I may make one more inquiry, what of Palox Tyrell? Did he survive? Hmm. Vendoring guard warrior that took Drastus hostage. Uh, no. So we know he's dead. She nods slowly, saying nothing for a long moment. My apologies, Fatebinder. I had a terrible feeling this errand was in vain from the start. I had no expectations that our friends could be saved, as I'm sure the time for swapping prisoners is long gone. But at least I know of what became of them. That'll have to be enough. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry you did not find what you were seeking. Uh, I have some questions for you, actually. Ah, uh, well, I guess let's be nice first. Then all that remains is for me to thank you for hearing me out. In accordance with our ancient customs north and south, let us part with peaceful accord. Okay. I... No missive from Tunon. Uh-oh. Uh, Eterna, word has reached this court that you have issued the Overlord's Edict to the Archons of War and Secrets. Know that we understand fully the weight of this burden and appreciate the loyalty you show in its declaration. Provided you survive this span, your service will be duly recognized. As you navigate the idiosyncrasies and mutual antipathy of our Overlord's War Masters, remember that Kairos watches all with interest. Those who distinguish themselves, whether Fatebinder or Archon, have the opportunity to rise in the Overlord's esteem. Even now, the Northern Courts whisper that the more successful of the two Archons will be granted rule over the whole of the peninsula. Similarly, your fortunes rest upon the decisions you make. Choose wisely. Um, thank you. Ah, okay, I was reading, like, why is it all the same? <laughs> um, yeah, no, that seems good. Correspondence. Okay. Small map. I guess, uh, yeah, just for this. That was the... Uh, Stealth. Look around for the earth shaker. Time to lighten my step. You go over here. I figured there would be some uh, enemies. Oh, some cheese. Earthshaker hood. Well, seems okay. Uh, so this is worse. Yes. 
So, instead of, the, well, it has deflection too, so this is just straight up better. Okay, uh, I'm just thinking, I'll quickly save. I mean, it just literally did. Uh, I'm just wondering about my skills. I had it just here. Uh, so we have this thrust. I'm just thinking, I made a fireball. I'm just wondering what the range is. Wondering if I should just surprise them and see if I can sneak up and like hit two. Sorry, I can't. I'm just wondering, yeah, from up here, I should have a better vantage point. But I don't think I can reach. Not quite. Well, I guess I'll just blast them. <laughs> Wait, why? Ah, because it's a bow skill. Wait, is she, does she have her bow out? No, she doesn't. But you can still choose that ability? Interesting. Didn't think that's... Uh, does it automatically do... A weapon swap? Just point me in the right... Right direction. To battle! Maybe not be... Um, how about you two get out of stealth? I got it. Maybe that wasn't the smartest. <laughs> Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> well, you clearly need to do that. Uh, can you also... Asking her to freeze that enemy. And you can also set that one on fire. I'm just saying, how... Could you rotate the camera? I'd have it no other way. Okay, so this should be able to freeze that one. Uh, just seeing what is good. Hearing palm. Just set you on fire. <laughs> You should maybe attack that. No? What do you think, Barry? You can rest when you're dead. Yeah. When a party member takes damage, they'll start to lose health. Yes. And then they get a wound. So maybe I should just start this differently. Because not much happened. I'm just cheating. But, you know, it's okay. It's okay, I'm just curious. Sorry, I can't. Did he already put on his new. Can't. Oh, he didn't. Wait, why not? Because now it didn't loot? Or what's this? Why not? Now the loot didn't spawn? Can't do that. That's strange, no? Well, you can seemingly just sneak around.
to battle. Okay, you get out of stealth. And now she still has... Oh no, she grabbed her... No, she still has her bow out. So what's the button for... Switch to... There should be a button for that, right? I think. I was just thinking to open with... Oh yeah, she does have it. I was just looking at her back. That's, that's entirely my bad. Okay, so... Let's uh, disrupt that. And you also Double. cast some magic. Then wonder if this will also Yeah, it would also hit her. So how would you just Sorry about that. Okay, that's going okay. So that one's injured. That one's also injured. She's also pretty dead. Not sure which one of them did so much damage. Don't know about you, but I feel oh, that level up was a good time. Feel like fighting. No, you just firewall one. in the middle. I'm just wondering if casting magic with them is really going to be good at this point. I guess more fireball. I got it. I'm not sure actually getting out is going to be worthwhile. I'll do it for the north. <laughs> Wake me up when it's over. Well, we are very heavily outnumbered. I got it. <laughs> Time to change what. <laughs> hmm. Well, we also need to heal. So why did he say he needs to change weapon? Because it's not working against the honor guard? Oh no, it's doing one damage. One damage. That is not quite enough. Well, I didn't quite want to disengage that much. Uh, okay, well... You must... There must be a button to... Well, it's not quite... Quick item. Must be just like V or something common. Let's zoom out. That's not it. Okay, well... I guess he just doesn't have another 
weapon or one that does enough damage. I mean, I guess this is just straight up better, but you can't change it in combat, so... Um... How about you use your special ability on that one? Let's have it then. Well, we were able to do a whole nine damage. That's. Uh, I think we're pretty dead. And we are dead. Only Barrack remains. That's not enough. <laughs> Need to do better. Wow. <laughs> Violent. I'm just seeing how far he, he gets. So, being on fire doesn't do much. That's okay. I require needle and threat. You can heal. Does hold out pretty uh, pretty well. I will aid you. I will aid you. Cool abilities. But we do need a much better plan. I require needle and threat. There's uh, quite some health that they have. Okay, so... Hmm. I'm sure the loot has still disappeared. But it seems I need to give him a better weapon. I just completely... Forgot about that. Ah, oh, he gets, uh... Okay, well, that's also good to know. <laughs> uh, Punisher. Or Striking Iron. Isn't that something he already has, anyway? I know she has that, so... Guess it's not chosen for him. So either you can get Clash of Iron, show mocking, challenging enemies to attack him. That might be useful right about now. He'll have resolve reduced. Chance to attack enemies as they engage you. I wonder if that's just like an instant free attack, because that would be awesome. No matter what. Thirty percent chance to attack foes when engaged. Well, ultimately, I think that does become pretty good. Uh, three meter radi radius minus one resolve. Well, that might be just really good. Um, I'm just thinking, considering we have a mage and we'll be casting like ice and disrupting abilities, this should help. Should make them freak out much more. So you can also get some bonus health. Health might be good. 
uh, but also might. Probably might. Just wonder how much. Plus one point or well, plus five percent bonus health. I mean, that's not bad, but again, we need to also kill a lot of enemies quick. So, did that. Then, you have yourself a spear. Gives you a lot of range. And I think this is a... Is, and throne. Yeah, exactly. This is 10 to 15. Yeah, exactly. This is good. You certainly don't need boots, do you? They are just worse. Just worse. I assume all of this is the same. I think armor is very good on him to have. Just checking the uh, more parry, but much slower because of the recovery. That's not good. Okay. Will do. So let's uh, save that again. <laughs> Separately. And maybe we can get through this one encounter. <laughs> so I do wonder if just throwing a fireball is actually good. No reason to tarry. I uh, just have them both be like here. And Barrick should be the first one to be engaged. And then I think... I'm just seeing what has the biggest range. Should be the same. Yeah, Fireball's the longest actually. So out the runner, honor guard. So the honor guards just have a lot of, you know, heavy armor seemingly. We should try that again. No, no. How about you do it from up here? Send me a song. That's an interesting uh, ability that uh, they just used. They just did? Did she just like jump up? I wonder if it says. Blink strike. Okay, so you just teleport to someone. It's really good to know that that is a sort of ability that exists. Maybe I should have given a little bit more health potions to uh, to Barrick as well. Um, so this is 26 to 40 frost damage. This is much less. So how about we just use that because you're almost dead. Come on, just finish him. And then I'll use Frost. How about you just... Wait, wasn't he near death? That one is near death. Okay. Ah, uh, can you... Drink up again? Almost. We need to. So... 
Did, what did we just get hit by? All by Sun Soldier. I was thinking that's this triple throw. That's a lot of damage. We need to switch to also like use a shield or something because uh, that's not going to work okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, so for now, let's finish the near death. They're tough. Uh, okay, so you... Moving to melee. How about you try and shoot? Okay, so kill the honor guard. Excellent. One less. Um, so this iron tolling combo ability. What does this do? Barricade the fate binder both bang on their shields and armor. Okay. Uh, the target is compelled to attack Barrack for a short time while the Fate Binder mocking gestures leaves the enemy confused and off guard. The foe loses all ability to parry and dodge until they recover. Minus thousand, yeah, that's that's long. <laughs> uh okay. But it's just you distract them basically. Hmm. This is moving to ranged, even though they're already in range, but okay. Uh, I guess we just... This one's trying to use an execute move. Did you already shoot? Can't do that. Seemingly not. Uh, okay. I'm just thinking she needs to uh, get in the ranger's face. Did that 30 damage is uh, is okay, I think. You really mage fire afflicted. Good. So he's in a bad state. So mage fire, 15 armor stolen. Excellent. That's what we want. Uh, we can throw another fireball at him. Just wondering if I should attack this one too. To like distract. I'm not sure if I should like focus fire, but I guess this is something I'll learn over time. Whether I should, you know, kill an enemy outright or just focus fire them. Or I mean like distract and CC the others. Sorry, I can't. Okay, so we're all like super close to death. Uh, what can we off do off combat or cooldown next? Well, we need to drink. You can shoot an arrow, but... I guess a searing palm? Because this, this attack, it's targeting Barrick, but it's gonna hurt. Uh, I mean, of course he has armor, but still. So we're going to drink, first is, I think just going to use skewer. I 
I guess he should freeze the enemy. Yeah, I guess we just need to. Don't kill us, please. It would be like real nice to survive with one health. Yeah, one health, literally. literally. <laughs> okay, uh, this should be near death. So, could you, you know, actually die? I will aid you. Oh my god. All of this damage. It's all so close. <laughs> I feel I uh, should not have come here, maybe. Maybe I should have gone to Echo Call Crossing. <laughs> okay, well, at least that one is dead. Blood soaked stone. Oof, that was uh, not so easy, you guys. Jesus. Are all combats gonna be like that? Probably. I need to get better at this. <laughs> Okay, let's see what they had. Hmm. Or actually the same. Wait, I'm looking at the wrong, wrong side. But yeah, that all looks kind of the same. Standard kit. Oh, what do we find? We've Found discovered something. something. Cool, bonus loot. Won't say no to that. Can't do that. Yeah, I assume there's nothing else here. Ah, a fate binder. Hellspar is your name. How fortuitous. The Earthshaker pounds his chest in salute. For us, I mean. Decidedly not for the Oathbreakers. A smirk. A smirk quirks the right side of his mouth as he surveys the carnage you have left behind. Whether intended or not, we're indebted for your help. Uh. Guess just uh, return the salute. You're welcome. Figured, uh, yeah, we can get the other options after that. Where's the rest of you? Uh, was part of your squad killed or otherwise separated? Or just be very straightforward. Uh, I need to speak to Commandant Iron Core. With tremorous fingers, the Earth Shaker pushes his hood back on the sweaty forehead. He glances once to the group of weary battered mages behind him before meeting your eyes. I'm, I'm afraid I'll have to do, as I am the mage in charge of this circle, Earthshaker Hellspar, at your service. So, wait, your commander isn't even here? I assume he's just dead, right? With all due respect, Fatebinder, it is not a matter I'd expect you to understand. We absolutely cannot abandon Cairn to the Stone Sea. His nostrils flare in mild ire. As we've only recently located him and are in the process of constructing a fort to guard his remains, we could not spare another mage, especially now when the beast tribe that flocked to Cairn in his final days is becoming increasingly territorial and contentious. And so Radix refused Ash's orders? 
Uh, so Karen was the fort in the hill. As tall as the hills, Karen is the Archon of Stone. Mm -hmm. Destroyer of the mountains, Karen is the reluctant leader of the Earthshaker Guild. Though he is less their teacher and more their object of study. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so Radix refused Ash's orders? Yeah. I'm not a rank to make such sweeping evaluations. The Earthshaker stumbles slightly over his words. But I'd say he interpreted them in his own manner and to the best of his judgment rather than outright refusing them. He's an iron guard, after all. His decisions, though difficult to make as they may be, will certainly embolden our routing of the tears. Not if you're a general and his entire army is dead. He chokes, and the earth shakers behind him gather closer, murmuring in surprise amongst, them, amongst themselves. One of them, a woman with wispy russet hair, slaps him in the back so hard, shockwaves tremble through through you and into the mountains past. <laughs> That's good writing. Uh, if they... What? <laughs> How? Uh, let's see. Overlord has issued an edict. If we don't take the well by Kairos' day of swords, everyone here will die, including Ash. Hmm... Yeah, let's just say that. Well, clearly Master Radix was unaware of the severity of the situation. He glances worriedly to the other mages in a circle as they all visibly absorb the meaning of everyone here and the edict's range of affliction. Had we known, assuredly the guild would have come in full force. Uh, so regardless, it looks like you're all we've got. Report to Savius at the disfavored camp. He'll have further orders for you from there. With a shaky nod and an even shakier salute, the Earth Shaker gathers his circle and cloistered together, murmuring or perhaps chanting in hushed voices, the battle mages march towards the valley. The Earth Shaker's moved his boulder with ease. Magic of that magnitude may be crucial. It'll probably help. Uh, before I forget, we have some uh, false poultices. We definitely need more of them, by the way. No, I didn't mean to do that. I just auto clicked. I just shift clicked. What did I do? I just want to split them. Yes, thank you. She has eight. More of two. Hopefully we won't need more than uh, than four. <laughs> Looks uh, that it's indicated. Fate binder, you look like you need to talk. What can I do for you? Hmm. No, not now. Uh, what ability did I press? Won't happen. Good, because I don't want you to use any ability. <laughs> Let's walk to. Why is it saying Scarlet Chorus Camp? Let me check. Yeah, because we need to return to the disfavored camp. Uh, taking the outer valley. Need to help them deal with rebel forces in the area. When you met with the Archons, you learned that the Scarlet Gorgas had an ongoing operation in Trip Nettle. Okay, I guess we can quickly 
do that. Will do. I mean, it's directly on the way anyway. This was a real like, side quest on the completely other side, which I'm not sure is ultimately wise, but we'll see. We will see. Shirashank, Quiet Shiv. Right, do, do we have some? It proves everything. The warrior slams her fists together in a resounding clap. Like, for instance, whether you're fit to lead that flock of children. Behind her, the member of her gang posture with weapons held at the ready. Did you not hear the news of the edict? This is a foolish distraction. We ought to be saving our fight for the enemy. Uh, what's the problem? No problem here, Lord Binder. She tosses her blade in the air, catching it with a smile on the way down. Captain Fuckwit here seems to... Uh, seems he's about to balk from this challenge. Thinks just because he used to run a ship, he's qualified to run a gang. She spits on the ground, looking up with a scowl. So I'm calling him out, because the way I see it, his worries ought to follow me, not this new blood. Captain Fuckwit was my father. Fuckwit'll do just fine. <laughs> it's good writing. Uh, the warrior pointed the opposing gang. If we have to prove our strength, we'll do so happily. But I'll have your hands and feet removed and the rest of you kept uh, for my own use. Uh, do we want to do that? I think we just want to stop them because I think there's a point in it. We should just... Well, I mean, clearly Scarlet Favor wants to fight, but it would be good to keep more keep more men, right? Excuse me? This is our way, Fight Primary, and you'll have no right to stop us. We're not harming anyone outside the course. Don't... I don't know who you are, but I don't need your help. He looks back at his gang. I don't... I think we can handle ourselves just fine. Yes, bickering amongst yourselves costs us the war effort. Uh, as a whole, it does affect others outside the chorus. Or, apparently, we can just cut Quiet Shift's throat. Just like that. Uh, or just beat up Shivershank. <laughs> How about we just go with the diplomacy, not kill anyone? The gang leader spins her knife for a moment if her answer balances on its edge. Shh, fine. With her answer, he flicks her knife to the ground and walks away. A spiteful glare cast in your direction. That's fine. More bodies to throw at the enemy. The guard places her hands by her belt as you approach. By her belt as you approach. Gripping the hilt of a blade. Past this point is chorus territory. Don't like someone like someone's conscript. You sure you're in the right place? I'm always in the right place. <laughs> I'm Eterna, Fade Binder of Tunon. I'm here to help vanquish those rapers. You know, I, I think I was to, told to expect somebody, but you seem to be ugly to be him. Her lips crumble into a smirk. Why exactly would I let you in? You told? This is the Fate Binder. He's been with us since the damn start. Even shed blood at the gates of judgment. Fucking new fish. Start learning the names and faces or find work as someone in moving target. <laughs> the guard shakes her head, blushing with embarrassment. I'm terribly sorry. Now please. Come right in. <laughs> Dasnell, Varia, Kel, Lantry. Oh, there's going to be a lot of names. <laughs> uh, let's speak to Fifth Eye first. Wait. 
scroll sits here. Glowing with mystical energy. Better, and stronger. Sigil of Illusion. Okay. The Binder of Tunon arrives. A squealing with teenagers timber. The fifth, fifth eye voice makes your gums itch and your fingernails feel in need of a trim. And we just finished having a bit of a sport with some captives. But worry not. We'll have some more fun with another batch momentarily. Dressed in a bronze red regalia of crimson spears, the fifth eye beckons you to stand close, wagging a blood spattering glove. I have gained wrath with them, okay? Have you come here to order the Scarlet Chorus to die so that the disfavored might live? That was how you played it back at the Vellum Citadel, after all. Typical reasoning of a Northman. Disfavored life for lives matter more than conscripts, no? Now that you have issued this edict and doomed us all to die, you come to help us climb out of this hole. And he chirps of laughter emanate from under his masks, or under his mask. Um, not here to follow your every order, but we all need to work together to stop this edict. But of course, you're a Tunant concubine, not mine. I envy your long leash and hope you'll grace us with your prowess, if only to set an example for the rabble. We know the Oathbreakers are focused in the citadel beneath the mountain spire, but we have learned this is not their only nest. The fifth eye wags a hand in the air with a high-pitched squeal of displeasure. Given their pattern of attacks, they must have a second camp maintaining or a second group maintaining camp here in the outer valley. And unless we deal with the second group, they'll attack us from behind the moment from behind the moment we cross the river. Mm. Remain quiet. The last group of scouts returned with a new batch of prisoners, and one of these prisoners claims she can lead us to the Venringard's secondary camp, though there are shreds of deception in her voice. I could use your help questioning this Varia Kel. Perhaps you will get less screams and tears and more useful information out of her. If we knew where to ambush the Oathbreakers, we could try and take their captain and show him the wisdom of joining the chorus. Um, I don't belong to Archon Nerat. What's my help worth? <laughs> I will speak with the prisoner. I'll meet you there. Can't do that. Who's oh, Sniggler? You look like you're placed like a merchant. Upon noticing your approach, the merchant, <laughs> yes, correct, <laughs> the merchant straightens his posture and smiles. What an honor. The name's Sniggler Dagos. Originally, the, originally from the relative tranquility of the Northern Empire, I've since accepted a nomadic life for the sake of keeping Kairos' forces supplied with only the finest goods, local and imported. Let me see your wares. He winces a little. It's not much, but let me know if you see anything that piques your interest. Okay, let's see, let's see. Uh, also, of course, we have no money. That's uh, a thing to uh, take into account. I think we can just sell some of the default items, right? Wait, how much recovery? Sun Soldier Shield. 0.6. I was just thinking, what if I just, you know, equip a shield and a spear? Is is that really... I mean, plus 0.6. Well, Honor God's Falx, it would be a javelin, so 0.5. Maybe I leave one of those.
So at least we get a little bit that way. And now we have seven. So what about these scrolls, eh? We have enough lore. Channeled expression. This did have a system where you already know this, right? Because this sigil of vigor, we don't have. I know that because we didn't take that option. Uh, but I do think we do need some more healing poultices. The way combat has been going, <laughs> we need a lot of those. <laughs> but that's the way it is. So I think that's fine. Just think saving often seems like a, a very good idea. So Baz and Rag, White Shiv again. Nobody has enough subterfuge. I got it. Well, that's just the way it is sometimes. Rust and iron sword, beautiful. I like how we're just running around looting stuff, you know. It's just that's just what you do, apparently. Another bend bronze sword, not worth much, but doesn't have to be. I don't think so. Can't do that. Nope, not good enough. Ah, so now she has another talent point. So let's see. So she can either turn into more of a skirmisher with a bow or more of a duelist. And I think duelist seems better considering I'm, you know, the main range currently at least. She gains a passive donation to dodge and parry until combat ends. Well, that seems good. Because I get just get a feeling that survivability is really key. <laughs> Immune to engagement for a couple of seconds. Well, that could be good, but I like my strong passives. At least I like the idea of them. <laughs> Maybe we should say it like that. Hmm. I guess she just needs more quickness, more dual wield. I I just wonder how dual wield works, because you have skill in both hands. Higher skill values lead to more accurate attacks, increasing the chance of critical strikes. It doesn't say anything about the damage thereof. Because to me, it would make sense that, yeah, attack and ability strength would do that. So yeah, that would increase. Hmm. I guess you would need a bit of both, basically. Oh, and now let's just do some more damage. I mean, can't be too bad. Again, I know we just saved, but it's super quick. Let's talk. 
Please, someone. I wish to bow before the voices of Narad. I thought all I thought all could find redemption in the chorus. A wound in the makeshift armor of the Vendrian guard lurches forward in agony. Her soiled, trembling legs suggest she has been forced to stand for days. This one, he flippantly waves at the prisoner, was hollering earlier that she knows the location of the Vendrian guard in camp, but she isn't being entirely honest. I told this thing. The prisoner turns pale a moment before a look of determination comes over her face. But I wanted a guarantee I'd live and be welcomed into Korra's as a captain. Then I'll talk. Otherwise, just kill me once I've been... Oh, once I've opened up. I was dumb enough to join with the Vendoring Guard, but I'm not dumb enough to give away my bargaining bronze. Um... Uh, why should I trust you? Why the change of heart? Yeah. Because I want to live, and you don't need to be the Archon of Premonitions to know that the younger realms are gone for good. He blinked several times, catching her breath. Kairos is the new strength of the tears, and I would rather stand with his Archons than be crushed by them. Why would I trust you? I suppose I have no answer for that. Her eyes fall to the ground. She swallows nervously. When I joined with the Vendorian Guard, I accepted their broken vow unto myself. Have you not felt passion for a foolish cause? One you later came to regret? Well, my surrender is sincere, and I'm willing to bow before the voices of Narad to prove it. Well, tell me what you know, and I can see about your release. I heard the chorus is looking for Captain Palox Florian and his crew. I can lead you to them, but only if you release me. Turns her head, taking a long look at skewered and smoldering corpses around. He tugs at her restraint, but no avail. So we can uh, do a skill check, or we have the option to use subterfuge. You're lying. Why don't you tell me what you actually know? Or start yelling. I think let's be more smooth since we can. Well. You see, shaken by your demand, her lips move worthlessly for several seconds. So I don't know. So I don't know exactly where the rest of my crew is, but I saw. I mean, I could tell you. She shakes her head, catching her breath. Search that one. She reaches up with her right leg and points with her foot, calling attention to a nearby pile of corpses. The tall, dark one, missing most of his face. Check his left boot. He was the literate one in the crew. He had the order. With a snap of his fingers, a pair of choirmen yank the boot off the fallen guardsman. A rolling parchment slides out of the boot and is thrust into the fifth eye hands. He unfurls the scroll to give it a read. It's nonsense. Just a mash of words. Laughter erupts from, the, from under the mask. She said she had information. She gives us garbage. Slay this wretch uh, for wasting her time. He snaps his fingers at the nearby Scarlet Fury, who promptly snatches a long knife from her belt. I heard her say she'd swear fealty to the voice of Narat. An initiation rite would be in order. One more another body seeing as you're an expert on the subject of fate i will entertain your wisdom in the matter what then would you propose we do with her uh, let's see All of this is messed up. <laughs> just reading it is just crazy. Uh, so, let's see. Let her kill the other guards.
Mariah looks at the prisoners, wants her allies, and closes her eyes as, as her bonds are untied. The unlockers snicker and cheer when a heavy rock is placed in her hands. Mouthing something inaudible, she lifts the rock high above her head and smashes it down on the prisoner's skull, wincing back a scream as she hoists the stone over her head a second time to finish the job on the other prisoner. The bloody rock hit the ground and Raya slumps to her knees in defeat a moment later. Good, good. Fifth Eye places his bloodied hand on the trembling woman's shoulder and nods to her. Welcome to the Scarlet Chorus. Do not fail us. As a pair of soldiers come to lift Varaya, the Fifth Eye turns to you, his voice filled with glee. Where's a slave to clean up the offal when you need it? We're no closer to finding the Oathbreaker's position, not with this cryptic mess. She promised us answers, and all she gave us was gibberish. Uh, sorry to interrupt, uh, but I highly doubt it's gibberish. Uh, more likely, it's one of the local scripts. The voice comes from another prisoner tied up next to Varaya. An older gentleman with the quills, ink files, and parchment scrolls one finds on the sages of the school of ink and quill. Ink smudges cover, cover his cheeks, temples, and ears. His clothes appear charred, and between the ribs of the fabric you spot burn scars along his arms. Despite being emaciated and tied to a post, he offers a beaming smile. Uh, can you read this? Uh, well, uh, let me see. Uh, I, I, I can't... Uh, uh, oh, mm, mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, so, uh, I don't know exactly what it says, but I'm half certain that's Sage Selwyn's handwriting. I'm sure I could decipher that in a few hours' time. Uh, don't need my hands free, but uh, I think better when not tied to a post. <laughs> I know, I'm weird that way. It is weird. A few hours? Either you can read it or you cannot. What use is a sage that doesn't know his letters? I've heard all I need to hear. I say we have some fun with this one. Uh... Can't hurt to give him a couple of hours? No, just do it now. I would love to help. Uh, I just need some time. Uh, that's written in another sage's shorthand. I'd have to sit down with it, or uh, better yet, uh, compare it to a piece of his writing I have stashed on me somewhere. Uh, if, if I sat down with it while sufficiently sober, it's highly probable I'd figure it out. Sober? Since when do we share the good stuff with the prisoners? Good question. Uh, nobody shared. Uh, right before I was taken prisoner, I imbibed several vials of reagents. I wanted to be numb and disconnected when my captors used me for carnal catharsis. It's made these last few days tied to a post uh, almost enjoyable. So give him a couple of hours. You read the edict? I don't need to tell you the sundial is working against us. This adult old bag is just trying to stall us. Mm. Give him a chance. Are you giving me orders, Binder? Does this look like Tunon's court? Last I checked, only the Archon of Secrets can tell me what to do with a prisoner. If this old man wants freedom, we shall give him a fair shot at a trial. Fatebinder, I beseech you, be my advocate for this trial. I'm no fool, I know the Chorus uses blood, not words, to settle these matters. But you are a servant of the Archon of Justice, are you not? Taking him into my custody? I'm not sure about that. Hmm... Yeah, he obviously has useful information, yet you're willing to let him die for sport? Clearly you need an education in Scarlet Chorus justice. Anything that satisfies their sick amusement is fair play. If the Conquest is any judge, there are no limits to their depravity. 
Did Graven Ash castrate you during recruitment, or do you just not know the meaning of the word fun? I'm actually curious. With a shake of his head, the fifth eye gives you a shrug. Is it not obvious? If he is a true enemy of the Overlord, he will perish by our blades. If he can survive, then he is strong, and a strong lead. Thus his crimes will not be crimes, but simply the actions of the mighty. What's not to understand? This isn't alchemy. No, but this is about reading. Jesus. Uh... I'll be his champion. Good. I like it when Tunon's puppies get their paws dirty. I wouldn't mind taking a swing at some loudmouth chorus braggarts myself. Did you hear that, brothers and sisters? Raising his arms to the sky, the fifth eye roars for all nearby to hear. Trial by combat is upon us. The sage is unbound from the post. Stiff legs nearly buckle as he attempts to walk, and his arm, arms flex and flail on their new freedom. Wiping sweat and grime from his brow, the sage steps close to you with a nervous smile. Rhythmic roaring and the stomping of hundreds of feet in unison flood the camp. Hordesmen begin to circle and swirl about, brandishing weapons and cheering. If they got this worked up, to fight the enemy, I venture the war would be over by now. Begin the chant of gathering. Let the warriors know that tonight's entertainment will soon commence. I wonder how many we have to uh, face. <laughs> Hopefully not too many. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, who amongst you sets the standard for strength? Who among you will help winnow the weak from the strong? Fifth Eye waves his hand in the air, drawing a gathering of chorus soldiers. Ah, so 4 v 4 seemingly. Our claimants have been assembled. Now let the trial of Oathbreakers begin. Look at that. Okay. So, um, what can you do? You have a Quill Strike. Quickly heals. Wait, we have our healer? Oh my god! <laughs> That's exactly what we needed. That's fantastic. Uh, okay, so... I'm just gonna say we start with a fireball. So we get one quicken per counter. So I'm just reading. So this um, allied target gets less recovery, but gets half health returned. We get it once per encounter. Okay, cool. I mean, really cool. So why did we also now get death from above? Because with verse we already have blood soaked stone. Launch verse into the air, allowing her to unleash a series of well aimed arrows into the target from above. As 100% accuracy and armor penetrations, these combo abilities seem like super strong. Uh, okay, well. Think these are already engaged or about to be? So he's casting Renewal, which is. Allied AoE. Armor per Pierce. Half an armor per piece of armor worn. One armor penetrated by attacks. Okay. Increases the damage from weapons and protection from armor. Okay, well that's... Yeah, that seems like a good Back, thing to do. Yeah. 
you heal first. You know what? I'm just realizing I don't want to change difficulty. I just want to change the auto pause on like spell cast. Or no, not becomes like when a attack is done. Also combat start <laughs> seems like a useful one. Party member finishes ability. Yeah, that seems good. It's a lot of pausing, but you know, I don't have to do it manually and it's going to be better and faster. So can't complain. So this one is uninjured. This one is injured by now. This one is badly injured. So I guess I'll focus that one. So who? I'm not sure who just finished their ability. <laughs> Party member. Ah, it was first, then. Turn. Okay, it, it would be good if it would automatically go or activate this, you know, this party member. I'm not sure I want to use the combo ability with this both. Then it would be us. That's Lantry. It's, it feels weird to have an ability like that, or to that it doesn't switch to the character immediately, because then you would just be immediately look here at the abilities, which is off cooldown, and then go or reevaluate. Uh, okay, but that's the way it is. Quill strike. A throwing weapon at a target, interrupting. Autopause spell cast. Scarlet Fury. Burning Iron. Yeah, but that's. I want it when. It's. Party member finishes ability. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Not for every opponent. <laughs> Seems a bit much. Uh, so we can use Quicken, but I think we. Pretty much have it. Bonus to might and vitality. How would we do that on her? Actually, instead, how about you heal yourself? My nose! No! I'm fine. Just fine. So, how about you? Use his skewer ability. And how about you instead? I don't need that rib described. Please don't kill him. Damn it. <laughs> oh, it's just a wound. Just a wound. You cast that. You can also cast magic. I guess you also can. Will do. Uh. I got it. Bleed 
out, you little sh- So we finished our ability. Uh, how would you use this death from above? See what it looks like, if you can get it off. Nope, that already. By the righteous shedding of blood, we have found our answer. Regrettably, it appears the sage is worthy of leaving our camp alive. Yeah, if he's our healer, for sure. <laughs> the fifth eye offers a short, mocking bow to Lantry. By the custom set forth by the voices of Nerat, you are free to go, old man. Brag to your grandkids that you fell afoul of the chorus, yet lived to tell the story. That was fun. Their warriors almost put up a good fight. Uh... Let's be nice to him. To the old man, are you hurt? Not any lasting capacity. I'm uh, jostled, but fine. Now, I believe I have a parchment to translate, lest I anger the powers that be. Well, much of the parchment was weathered, but I could make out the important parts of the text. The note makes mention of a meeting spot west of Tripnettle. So the old sage knows his words after all. I'd ask that you travel ahead and see if you can't get this Captain Florian to yield to the chorus. They will strike at the first sight of a chorus gang, but perhaps they will parlay if yours is the face they see. I know the area and I suggest we go at once. I'll show you the way. I'm eager to be far from the stench of this camp. You're offering to come with me? Why? I mean... I definitely do want you tagging along, I think, so... Slow down, introductions might be in order, yeah. My apologies, guess we kinda skip past that part. I'm Sage Lantry, formerly of the Vellum Citadel, and now of, well, of nowhere, I guess. <laughs> I like him, he's very likable. Uh, you're offering to come with me. Why? Because the alternative is, what, living here with these illiterate brutes? My Old study is under a river of fire, and there's no family missing me. <laughs> Besides, I'd much rather chronicle the binder that twice proclaimed an edict of Kairos. I'd be a fool to let someone else write your story. You want to chronicle me? Well, of course. Even if the burning library is never rebuilt, our work to chronicle the days and events needn't cease. And you're a noteworthy player in the whole war. I can't think of another living fate binder that's been twice given the honor of proclamation. Fine. If you're eager, come with me. Splendid. You won't be disappointed. I know I may seem old and frail, but I know how to step lightly and how not to get killed. Really, I, I won't slow you down. Lead the way and let me know if I can be of service. Are we done here? Let's hightail it to trip nettle. If your new pet doesn't behave himself along the way, I'm not above clipping his ears. So I guess we don't get loot from uh, the people we just killed. Seemingly. You are named, but not in any useful capacity. Bit of cheese. So he got plus two. Wait, how much subterfuge does he have? 27 only. So it's, yeah, me and Verse. You're good at that. Spotted something. So everybody got a little bit of subterfuge. Okay, well that's that's good. Interesting how that uh, how that works. I'm not sure I want to talk to another NPC. <laughs> uh, okay, let's just quickly do it. Hail, Fate Binder of Tunan. The disfavored officer pounds a heavy gauntlet against his chest, but in a stiff but warm greeting. 
Were I not a better or superstitious man, I'd say fortune must favor me today. I'm not. But I'm pleased to meet you all the same. Now it brings you to my little slice of personal damnation, otherwise known as... He spreads his thickly gloved pants wide. In this here mud and shit stinking chorus camp. <laughs> oh, the, oh, the writing in this. They must have had so much fun with this. <laughs> uh, have you anything to report? Where are you stationed with the chorus? Yeah. From the way most of my days go, you'd think I was here to row with the blood chanters and scarlet furies, but my post is to represent the disfavor's interests before Fifth Eye and the Scarlet Choruses for Iron Marshal Eranios. Not that I've gotten to do either in so much as the last span. A stare. He stares back for a long moment before finally lifting one meaty shoulder in a stiff shrug. Have you anything else to report? He cans his head to one side, taking it back. What about the chorus isn't unusual? The army itself is a strange malnourished beast. But no, no, the screamers seem mostly in order, sir. And I haven't been spying, if that's what you're implying, sir. Still, as a post, he studies you sharp, scarcely appearing to breathe. Of course, even if I was, it'd be damn near impossible to learn anything from this shit sty. Fifth Eye and those damn furies don't even loop me in enough for me to do my detail. And it's not for lack of trying on my part. What do you mean? I'm not here to keep a steady eye on the Oathbreakers, who they give far too much freedom after conscripting. I'm here to be a resource for the benefit of both armies. I can provide insight regarding proper stratagems and request a stock of troops from Iron Marshal Arrhenios for reinforcements, if needed. But they won't listen to me, nor confide in me, nor fight beside the brethren I could request. Okay, that's good to know. Good to know that that's what you can do. Uh, okay, farewell. On it. I guess I should uh, quickly read this uh, wounded tutorial message. When a party member takes damage, they will start to lose health. The health, yep. Yeah. Then that goes down. They're removed when party rests or when a character levels up. Good. How about everyone just levels up all the time? Uh, okay, let's quickly check this. He also has... So he has three options. Like the uh, these guys just have two. He has a third. He has preservation, which I assume is healing. Or not even necessarily healing. But let's see. Let's see, you know, increase armor and do more damage, which seems pretty awesome. Greater renewal. So it's just an improved version of it. Yeah, it's double. Or a gifted healer, control life skill, plus 10. Well, I mean, if he is going to be our healer, we want our healing to be good, right? <laughs> uh, or control vigor. I think control life. I think that's probably what I would want for now. Otherwise, he can throw a bunch of stuff with daggers, I guess. There's a range damage kind of way. Gain a passive damage bonus to subterfuge and dodge skills. Well, so what's this? Uh, what's this ability that he currently doesn't have? Watcher's judgment. One-handed weapon, or two-handed weapons actually, or dual wield thrown weapons. Okay. So they can get paralyzed for 11 seconds. That seems long. <laughs> if used from stealth, then it will paralyze. Yeah, okay, but that's just not what we're going to do. So you get more control life. And enjoy it. Wait, 
more? Who else? Wait, do I get one in each? Here's another point. Ah, okay. Excellent. Uh, I guess we just want a better... Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's a uh, high level. Why don't you just wear that? You have some health poultices. It's good. You have your throne weapon. I'm just wondering if it's worth it. So currently this takes plus two seconds recovery. So what if instead of it's probably what under here somewhere the shield. If I just stand there with a shield, I'm not gonna be attacking with it. But it will give me defense stats. And I can still do all of my magic. Isn't that just a lot better? Sorry about that. To me it seems currently that this would be better in every single way. But uh, okay. For now, let's quickly save. And all the way over there again. Okay. There we go. A fake limp. <laughs> Reinforcements? Finally! Come this way, we need to... The Gore's warrior pumps his tattooed arm in salute. Midway through the gesture, a look of confusion dawns upon his painted face. Sister Verse, what did I do to deserve such a helping hand? A chuckle escapes the man before he shudders, placing a hand over his mouth. But once alert of the need to remain quiet, his voice drops to a harsh whisper. Fifth eye has a sense of humor sending you. She returns a cold glare but says nothing. You two know each other? This one used to run with my pack until he left for a Death Nell's gang. Modelus Swine didn't even have the guts to fight me for the right to leave. He just packed up and left with his coward's tail between his fat legs. And wise move at that. How many have you lost under your command so far? He holds up a hand, stifling a smile. I misspoke. I'm sure you got most of them killed. Can't rule out death by their own competence. Seems Death Snell didn't take my advice and have you galloped to curb your outbursts. Uh, okay. Let's see. Grab fake limp by the neck. Apologize now. With a swift, confident stride, you advance on fake limp and grab his neck before you can step away. His stance wobbles as you clench down on his throat and he presses his arms against you, desperate to push you away. As a, as a mage, it sounds very weird. <laughs> uh, at last, he tears himself away from your grip, gasping for air and clutching at his throat. I'm sorry, Mistress Verse, I did not, I did not mean any disrespect. Of course you did, I couldn't care less. Just know this, you're not good enough to do it in my face. She sniffs and glares at him. Clean yourself up. Apologies, I've been in the field for weeks, answering to no one. I've forgotten my place. Their camp is just yonder, he points to the northeast, and we've kept an eye on them for the last couple of days. Some of them left a few hours ago, looking for food, maybe out on patrol, but they haven't returned yet. It might be wise to strike now while they're vibing. Uh... Well, how would we just attack together? Wouldn't that be better than me going in alone? What's your plan? 
I lost two of my gang in the mountains and we've been on half rations for days. So until we get a much larger contingent, we're not likely to win any fight we start. Now that you're here, I figure my gang will hold back and keep an eye out for trouble. Maybe swoop in if things get messy. Mm. Claire. My gang and I will lurk nearby. When you make your move, we'll descend and help with capturing Florian. Don't worry, I'll let the others know you did the heavy lifting. I'll cheat at battle, but not with my reputation. Um, let me actually edit this. I don't want us at the front, ideally. Why is it blocked? I think clicking the uh, the padlock would like unlock it, so you can change formations. <laughs> Uh, these are just locked, I guess. Okay, well then. That's what I want. My lay in the front. Rest in the back. This can't be them already. Subterfuge. Cure. We found a hidden object, a bronze axe. And healing poultice is camping supplies. Perfect. Off Storm's Heart. Uh, let's see. Do we want to have her open? You got it. I'm about to start. Well, I think that's a good opening. And then how about we just immediately follow up with Death from Above for both of our main characters. On my command. <laughs> You just get all the fire now. You think? Yeah, near death. Good. It's funny. His thing says attack melee, but he's throwing knives. <laughs> uh, but I guess that's okay. It's just funny how it shows. Uh, I guess we'll electrocute you. I also keep wanting to actually... Uh, it's funny you can also level up mid-combat. But uh, I keep wanting to use like magic with, our, with Verse and Barrack. But then they need to actually just hit stuff. So they get better with their weapons to train those skills. Hey, over there. Yeah, that seems good. You go heal Barrack. I got it. Well, rooting us, not really a problem. Yeah, I agree with the striking iron that the AI queued. Uh, I just touch, might as well. Reverse going for searing palm, I guess that's fine. Or you could just do a normal attack. Ah! 
I mean, you just fight like two enemies, it's just so straightforward and simple. Do we just have to... Ah, it does regen. No, sorry. Excellent. I wasn't sure if it would, actually. Uh, okay, so character sheet. We're level 3 now. So I think we just need wits. Lots of it. More spell strength. He also had a point. Spell strength, magic defense. Seems good. Probably also want some health. Because, well, health is good for everybody. <laughs> no matter what. Uh, so we get a point. Additional spell slots. An energy shield. A cone of magic. Channel burst of energy through your magic staff. But I'm not sure I want to be using a magic staff, seemingly. And 10 frost damage, that's not even so... <laughs> so good. Uh, okay, well I guess spell slots. Spell slots are going to be very useful, I think. Yeah, I was just thinking, he also has quite some more. We should actually put some good spells on him. So what sort of illusion spells do we have? False Pit. Damage 8 to 13 raw. Prone Affliction. Endure the illusion of an endless black pit below the target, convincing them that they are falling to their death. The enemy is left prone until can I... <laughs> That's kind of cool. Nice to target in a blurred illusion, making them harder to hit. No, that's not so fun. That's fun. And just more damage. Big range. Now that puts it at 75. That's too much. That's just longer. Oh, we can assign that. No problem. How about we assign that to him as well? So actually, can I just like copy this? Hearing palm, fireball assigned to him. And then also the electric jolt. Ah, that's 45. Ah, that's a shame. Thought it would be... Uh... Actually, I need to check. Is he more skilled? He's skilled in control life and control vigor. He's not skilled in any sort of fire or anything like that. So I wonder how that goes. Like, will he just start at like level one? Is that that how that goes? I guess we'll have to we'll have to check. Wait, so many buttons. I guess um, bearing palm as well. So he has the basic fire ones. So actually, like, he can do better than just that. He can just... 35... 45 is too much again. Yeah, still this way it's better, it's stronger. Yeah, this is 40, so that's good. Uh, 
Ah, so we can't modify it until we know it. Okay, that's, that makes sense. That makes sense. How about we save this? Well, how about... Actually, can we... No, we can't do this yet. You must rest before using this ability. I thought this was once per... Ah, uh, it's once per rest. Oh, that's wasted. I thought it was once per encounter. Whoops. Uh, Outrunner. Enjoy some fire. <laughs> uh, okay, so... She just used that ability. And now I just Another. run in. Already queued that up, thank you. Actually, how about I just use this? He really should have more abilities. He has like nothing. Did you take a look at that? Did he just use Greater Renewal? Excellent. I think very soon he's gonna need to heal, or he's gonna need to heal someone. So she's knocked down. How about you? Actually, how is his like control fire? So he has control fire and control lightning. So, but I've used frost spells with him, right? So, sun soldier hits me. I assume that was this one. These seem busy with each other. Uh, so you use Restoring Touch. Heal us. The Baric hits. He hits with shock. It's crazy you see the entire formula, but okay. Uh, and it stunned the enemy. That's pretty good. So he gained control lightning plus one. Someone thought this was a frost. Uh, it's not. Uh, so how about you now just go attack? Go, go stab. Near death. Count on. About to use skewer. <laughs> now we are finished. I will on it. zap this other one. Pity you won't enjoy this. Maybe should have healed verse, but. So, okay, so I hit both. That's good. That's what ended up killing. Excellent. So, what about the false pit? How about you just get knocked down? Actually, how about you use false pit on this one? There's more health, gonna be more useful. What's her frost low, of course? But that's okay, because it's a, uh, you know. As you command. It still freezes enemies. Will do. Just all of these, like, I'm just gonna like 
shock you, interrupt you, put you on fire, freeze you. Like, it seems so powerful. I got it. You can control illusion better now. Okay. They're both going to heal her. Land tree already finished, really? Did, he, did we really just mid-combat discover something? We focus on weird things. <laughs> Yeah, so he got slightly better with one end weapons. Light guard bronze. Unarmed DPS. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you're going to punch someone. <laughs> I got it. I mean, if all of these encounters are, you know, someone staunch my bleeding. Please don't. I'll take care. Of it. Die now. As you command. These uh, traps seem uh, like they're gonna one shot. Right. I'll stay downwind of our enemies. So, we found him. That's good. A lot of leveling up to do. <laughs> uh, so, resolve. Probably good to have, but... Probably you just need... You're basically like the tank tank. That's oh, retribution actually seems like a really good skill. Uh, so let's see what the level three here brings, because otherwise retribution seems really good. Sort of common gains a large boost to movement. Well, that seems kind of cool. Engage in additional enemies. So yeah, again, very cool. Just passive armor. Plus two armor. Just in general, but it's a stance, okay? As long as he has a shield. Interesting. Training groundies. When he is in the party, all party members can bonus experience for athletics one handed. Wait, how does that work? Just in general, everybody gets it? I guess it's a cool idea. You get more melee characters. So, multi-hit attack that dazes, stuns, and sunders. Versus, you know, with endurance checks. So, there's that to take into account. But that's always going to be the case. And this is just passive plus 20% damage. Which is also pretty good. Uh, but I think we need him to just be strong. Be able to take a beating. So I think this retribution is a good way to go about that. Like just let him do his basic attacks.
It just seems like such a good way to increase your damage. Do you have eyes on this? The Overlord's peons have arrived. Blades up. Fox in hand and ready for battle. The Vendoring Guard Captain Bellows orders to the warriors in his camp. Dressed in tarnished bronze and sporting countless scars across his arms, Pelox Florian towers over his peers. If you value your life, drop everything and flee. Or stand and fight. I'm happy with that option too. That just seemed unsporting for me to suggest it. Would I like to talk? Hmm. I, I left my nicest blue flag back at the camp, but I'd like to talk all the same. You want to talk? Florian looks in either direction at the soldiers, gauging their reactions. Fine. Speak your mind. Try anything funny and I'll run my fox. Clear up your backside until you taste bronze. Hmm. Hmm. Well, the chorus wants you, just you. The rest of your warriors are incidental. They can walk away, nobody will notice. You better have a damn good reason for spilling our plan. <laughs> you speak very freely of our plans, don't you? <laughs> I have little love for the Scarlet Chorus, but even I wouldn't divulge our secrets to the enemy. Curious. Almost flattered. Why tell me this? What angle are you playing? Hmm. I want you to know what that sound is when reinforcements. I don't get this. Like it's just like okay, now we attack. Uh, yeah, not sure. This seems stupid. Honestly, this seemed like a bad option to pick. I was just thinking that if they just surrender, you know, if he, you know, if they, we just take him, and the rest just, you know, we take all of their weapons, they don't need to die. That's the way I was thinking about it. Um. Uh, the game seemed to think differently. That's okay. <laughs> mm. When the Archons are unhappy, I am amused. I want all of you to flee today, so you're alive to trouble them tomorrow. Maybe. Play the long game. And then they won't, you know, do so. Draw our weapon. So, think he's going to be super strong? Uh, okay, so verse, how about you try and do that? I'm not sure you actually have time. You should probably just use your melee ability. Uh, this will taunt. So yeah, I think you need to taunt him. I think what I will do is... Well, maybe actually... Use the crazy powerful ability. Heads up, we have company. So we all get buffed. He is taunted, that is excellent. He can fall into a false pit. Uh, let's see. 
Can we incapacitate? No, we need to walk right. away. Yeah, I was thinking there was not enough enemies. <laughs> Nuke him down. Not a problem, boss. That one's injured. He's badly injured. Uh, let's see. I guess the mages are dealing with this guy. I got it. He healed himself, that's fine. Just kinda assumed he would. Did mine damage with that? That's really not much. Okay, so he's dead now. That is really good. We, together, need to heal you. We can heal Eterna. No, no, no. We don't need to heal Eterna. That's not the right character. Oof. That's, uh... That's a problem. Well, you need to drink up now. You get the fireball to the face now. I guess you also throw a fireball. Hmm. That is uh, an interesting ability. Cloak and dagger. Let's see. Will do. Seems uh, real efficient. You're gonna get a lot of magic attacks right there. Please don't die, Landry. Please don't. Okay, so, what do we have? I guess you just use your special ability there. First, also really just needs to heal. Apparently she's also poisoned. We also need to... Wait for both. So he's taunted now. So 
hoping Verse could finish this one. Good work. Guess I'll Sorry help. About that. Okay. Slowly getting there. Attacking from behind should still be better. We have nothing that's not on cooldown. I better not wake up. Smash the pieces. Rough. Of combat would have been better if not. Uh... If I didn't heal, you know, Eterna instead of uh, Lantry, and if I picked a better dialogue option, that probably would have helped too. Right. So what does he have? Broken armor. Well, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> so they have a tenderizer, one-handed item, an accessory for parrying. Plus 10 parry. Well, that seems good. How about we check who can make the most use out of that? It's slower, but it's quite a lot of damage. Uh, she also is very high on parrying. How about she takes that? I'm just wondering if this is... So it's praying. Damage bonus for every 1% missing health. I mean, this seems better, right? I mean, it's just slower. It's just very slow. Let's uh, give it a shot. Big club. Seems okay. Yes. Seems to fit in, to be fair. You didn't see nothing. I'm guessing there might still be traps or something, so just uh, sneak around, just in case. Sometimes these uh, dialogue trees, they don't necessarily work the way I would expect them to. Like with that option where I spilled the plan thinking it would save, you know, some lives, something like that. But maybe if we want to, you know, ultimately you want to build reputation with the vendor in guard because it ends up mattering in the long run. Just for now, it seems like a small group of, you know, rebels, essentially, which, you know, we'll just get wiped out here and then they don't matter anymore that's the way it seems to me now so again you you don't know what the long story is going to be but i guess that's uh you know part of the uh, the fun and challenge because you don't know Uh, okay, so shall we start off with some fire? 
Another battle. <laughs> starting to think we're back at making friends. <laughs> Yeah, you can taunt stuff. You really used to taunt? Doesn't seem like it. Why is she using bows? I I don't fully get the AI sometimes. Because you're standing in melee range and you, then you decide to use a bow. It doesn't make much sense to me. <laughs> Maybe that's, yeah, it's me that doesn't make sense. Tree. Did you just cast it yet already? Death worm. Because you need to heal verse. Consider it done. Okay, they all seem to be doing quite well, honestly. Let's throw a fireball at this one. All verse can just keep hitting. Okay, I need to read how this goes. So it heals what? It is a heal around him. Okay, I see. I thought it was targetable. I got it. what just heals Eterna not anyone else I thought it healed others too the success we should try <laughs> Oh, someone stitch me up. It's a very powerful ability, this, uh... Ah, uh, what is it? Blood-soaked stone? Very powerful. Right. Can you I'll please kill her in case something happens? And it's a free skill point. <laughs> right. So, I think we're gonna have to fight them too. Kind of get the feeling of yes. <laughs> You 
killed him. Are you daft? You can kill any of them except Florian. Considering the alternative was meeting the voice of Nareth, can you fault him? You pompous little fuck, you think this is some laughing matter? Enraged, he reaches for his sword, only to hesitate upon seeing the blood drip off your weapons. The warrior sighs. Well, I guess it doesn't matter now anyway. I'll have to report this unfortunate turn of events to the voices of Nerat in person. Hopefully, ridding the, this wilderness of the Oathbreaker nuisance will be enough to save my own face. Now get out of here. Don't you have other fates to bind or something of that sort? On it. Yeah, we'll just return. Who would be in what crowd chorus? Claws at throat. That someone knew. I think uh, this was actually for what? Where was he? So we need to actually go to the other camp. A whole 15 minutes gets lost. With all due respect, accords have proven, have proven themselves against these apex fools time and time again. What can your earth shakers do other than get in the way? I don't want to be here, Savius, and my orders don't involve proving our value to you. If the great general doesn't want magic on his side, then he can order us to stand down and sit this one out. I don't question what your mages will bring to the table, Hellspar, but I have my reservations about your leaders. Why couldn't Radic show up to the siege himself? If he has more pressing issues than the state of conquest, I should like to hear about it from his mouth. Mm. Just say nothing. If we conclude that Radix is ignoring his duties, then he'll need to be replaced. I don't take any pleasure from the idea, but we may have to take the steps if he proves intractable. I hate to upset the chain of command during a time of war. Perhaps Radix's brother can convince him to remember his duty. Fatebinder, I thank you for the part you played. You didn't have to risk yourself, but you did so all the same. Cool looking armor. <laughs> Better quit. Gotta love all the names of characters here. They're so good. Uh, okay, so. We did that. Forgebound Iron. We have to go to Echo Call. But didn't it say... Return to Fake Limp. Yeah, we, well, well, we did that, yeah. Okay, well, in that case, uh, I think we're somewhat ready to go to Echo Call. Uh, but that's clearly going to be next side because this has been a very long one already. 
Uh, but I feel I got more, you know, got more used to, you know, leveling up the the characters and having some more combat. Uh, seeing how useful, uh, you know, all of the stuns are uh, of magic, which is fantastic. So. I'm not even sure. I, I think even having some magic on them seems very worthwhile. Uh, even if it's slow, maybe later it won't scale well or something like that. But just being able to just stun something or put them on fire. Uh, you know, it just seems super powerful uh, that way. But I guess we'll, uh, we'll see in due time. So for now, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you liked the video, just leave a... Uh, leave a like on the video that helps other people find it and let me know what you think so far. Uh, do you think I should stick with a, st with a shield? Uh, then, you know, like a thrown weapon? It seems to do okay. I mean, we want to be at range, so having a javelin and throw for like a couple of points of damage if everything is on cooldown seems okay. Uh, to me, at least. So far, it seems more useful than having a staff, because uh, at least you get more defensive bonuses. You're not supposed to be using your, you know, your weapon attack because you're supposed to use your magic attack. So I don't see the point of having stabs. I think just having something with a shield or like a throwing dagger like he has you got it. or like Lantry has seems good. Uh, and a javelin is just as good, I think. doesn't matter. It's mainly about the shield. <laughs> uh, okay, then hope you guys enjoyed that. See you guys next time. See you, dudes.